Welcome to the tutorial on how to take your question that you asked on the class social network and uh, do something with it, specifically how to publish your results on your blog. So I'm going to take this question here by Logan. What would you do for a Klondike bar? When I open it up, I see the percentages here that of what people chose which response, and these are the two that I said I would be willing to do for a Klondike bar. Well, that's great, but if we go to action right down here and bring down the drop-down menu and go to publish to results, that's going to do something a little different. Oh, i got to tell it I'm still here. So when you're publishing for your results, you got to tell your classes, everybody in your class, your classmates, what's going on. This one is not really a debate, so I'm not, yeah, I don't know, that one's kind of interesting conversation. I appreciate the variety of perspectives. I'm going to choose that. I could just type my own right here, uh, but since it has these symbols, you can't do that on an iPad. So for iPad people, just choose one that best fits uh, what you're going to do. Then it'll close it because you'll be done. So you're going to publish your results. So we let it do its magic. So once it's done doing its magic, we'll go to results and resources. And we should find it there because we just published to results. So you're going to results and resources right there. Once you're done with that, well, lo and behold, that very first one here is the one I just published for Logan. What would you do for a Klondike bar? So you've got this lovely pie chart right here that shows you what people would be most willing to do. And the one that won with 26% is purple. Take another survey. Now that you've got this, you want to put this on your blog. Here's how you're going to do that. You're going to take a screenshot. Uh, if you're on an iPad, you're going to need to push the on-off button and the home button at the same time to take a screenshot. On a Mac, you're going to push Shift, Command, the key with the Apple, and number four at the same time. Now did you notice how my cursor changed to a crosshairs? I want to put the crosshairs where I'm going to start, click and hold down, and draw a box oh, just around the part I want. I'm going to do right here. So it shows 35 votes and all the different colors. And when I let go, did you hear the picture sound? Look over here. I've got this thing called Picture One. I'm going to click once on it and rename it Klondike. Now I've got a picture that if I double click on it, look what it is. Here is the screenshot I just took of my results. Now this is going to look beautiful on your blog. And if you want to know how to put this picture on your blog, you need to upload it. And the way you upload it is you probably want to check one of my other tutorials. So check this out. Go to the uh, video tutorials page. And uh, let's see, iPad tutorial 3. Part 4 will show you how to upload that photo to put it on your class, class Blogmeister blog using FTP view on your iPad. This one up here, number 5, the netbook tutorial, shows you how to do it with Core FTP. And uh, if you don't know how to do it with Fetch, it's very much like iPad Tutorial 3 Part 4, except you're using Fetch instead of FTP View. Same thing with the Netbook one. On an iMac, it's the same steps, you're just using a different program. Now, if you're going to take a screenshot on the Netbook, Print Screen takes a screenshot, but then you have to paste it into uh, the Paint program. The thing that I'm not sure how to do, which you need to do, is you then need to cut out and crop it so you don't have the rest of, of your screen. That's going to look ugly. So you might need to get help on that one. Now if you're on the iPad, there's an app called Crop Free. 
do a search for it and you can crop your picture so that it looks just like this and all you have is the graph and the results. If you just include the pie chart, people don't know what it is that got all those percentages. Like for example, 0% I don't even know, that's the other. 3% is the green. Climb a mountain. Only 3% of people who answered this survey are willing to climb a mountain or a Klondike bar. And that concludes today's tutorial.